go down in the woods today you're sure of Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Malin, Miss Kitten Heart. And today I am doing a combination unboxing thrift haul. I got these two boxes and these things at the thrift store for 1 euro 40 cents or like a dollar 40 and I have no idea what's in the boxes except for what's at the very top and then I got these via Facebook all for free and uh, since I am having um, I can go here really here. fast. You see the yellow door through the leaves. That's my tiny, tiny thrift shop uh, in the old outhouse. So it's tiny. And I have it opened a few days this summer. And I always need to refill that, so buying tons of stuff for cheap is a good thing. A good way to get stuff for my little thrift shop. So I thought we will... I am going to unbox all of this stuff and I am really excited to see. I can see some Christmas things here some shoes and uh, yeah let's see what I have see you in a sec we go. all of this stuff I will start with the ones that I actually know uh, these things on the table they were four items for um, like 10 cents something like that so these are salt and pepper shakers in blue ceramic and a little pot for mustard for example or some other spice condiment. I got lots of pressed glass, so this is a little sugar bowl and another sugar bowl and a little bowl without ears and yet another sugar bowl. And I think I can sell this really cheap for maybe 50 cents or 1 euro, 50 cents maybe. And they still make me uh, a profit. And I'm thinking if I'm really cheap I will sell more. This is a little uh, creamer. Really, really cute. Another little creamer. And another little creamer. This uh, video will be so long, I have a feeling. There is so much stuff. And some cake plates. Three different patterns. This, I have three of this one. And I consider myself 
lucky if I find something for me. So this is basically bought just for the purpose of selling. Let's see if I can focus my little piggy. It is really, really cute. I saw it has a bit of a crack in the snout. But it's so cute. It's just for decorating. It's from Greece. But it's cute. And this someone made to put a candle in. Actually, you can just put, pop the candle in. I don't know why they did this one, but I think someone will like it. And here we go. Starting with the first box of stuff. Just a mug. With a bit of a decor. Looks like it could be Ikea or the dollar store or something. Hair dye. Not my color, unfortunately. And another mug. This is rather old from Gustav Spy. And I actually like this quite a bit. Um, I like the shape a lot. Even though it's blue and not black, which is what I collect. Um, black decor. I may keep this. And then... A ceramic bottle. Cartago. It used to hold something, I don't know what. Holder. Another candle holder. Oh, another one of these mugs. Great. Oh, some sort of a bowl. That's pretty nice. Be nice to have breakfast in, maybe. Really, really sturdy, really heavy. And wooden tulips. I really, really don't like these. They were a big thing in the 80s and 90s. No, it's a tea strainer. It's a tea strainer. I actually collect tea strainers. And it is not bad. There we have it. You see the holes in the bottom. This may be a keeper too. Some more pressed glass. So I think it's a ramekin or something like that. Let's see, of course my phone said beep. I'll get to that later. Oops. And yet another candle holder with stars on. I'm actually really loving that I don't love stuff. I don't want to keep them. This is a sugar bowl. I wonder if there's a lid or if it just... It's really nice though. And a dessert glass. And a 
little copper little copper pot and yet another candle holder in some kind of metal Another candle holder, I think it's glass, it looks like there won't be any light shining through but maybe it is, and uh, some tea. It's rhubarb and vanilla, I really like rhubarb. And then, oops, and a glass. And another little glass. And another dessert bowl. Really, really thin, lovely. Three of these pressed glass serving dishes. They would be perfect for banana split, or cold cuts, or whatever you would like to serve. Another little creamer in pressed glass. Do I get it to focus? Oops. And another glass. And yet another candle holder. Or saucers. They are great for putting under uh, flower pots. And this is empty. And then I have this pressed glass bowl as well. A bit of a wavy edge. Another, another hair dye, a little picture, and a little ceramic vase, porcelain vase. Get it to focus. There we go. And a little mug. See if we can get it to focus too. For children. Like, I don't know if it is or if it's just some sort of metal another candle holder two 
more candle holders. Drink glass, Kate Morgan, maybe for one of the very few guys coming to my thrift store. Mm. And in Sweden, we call this Kosa, it's just a drinking cup. have them when you are out camping and stuff. And I wonder if this is uh, once the Swedish army use because there are the three crowns there at the bottom. And this is actually one I will keep. I love brass stuff and brass animals is a favorite and this camel looks really really pretty so let's see if I can get it to stand Terracotta base, vase, flowers, and flower containers, and a little tea bag plate. And these were so very in in the 90s, this country geese, uh, blue, so 90s, and 90s is coming back, so hopefully someone will love that one. I will have to hurry to drink my tea before it turns cold. And these, actually, these are two pressed glass bowls, and they are really, really, really pretty with the handles and the pattern. I think I will give these to my sister because she has two cats in need of some nice food bowls. <coughs> and another pressed glass dish. And another one of these. This is so much stuff and this is only the beginning. And a little bowl pressed glass and yet another pressed glass bowl. I think that's really nice actually. I like that pattern. And I don't know, I think the edges are too low to put a candle in the tea light in. So maybe for your tea bag. No, if it was like a personal ashtray or something back in the days. I don't know if this is missing something to go in his mouth or if it's 
singing maybe. You can use it for incense. Put the stick in the mouth. This, I think, oh, okay. I thought you would have to have a holder for it, but it stands just as it is for a tea light again, a candle holder. And a little mug. It's dark purple. Looks almost black. And yet another little mug. I think this used to hold mustard. Um, the pharmacy sell these. Uh, Christmas with a lid, of course, and they hold mustard. And another bowl. Again, you can use it for breakfast or you can use it for your dog. And two more. Candle holders. I don't like these ones. Very end of 90s, early noughties. And some little plaster. Decorations. Someone had this mold at home and made a lot of these little doggies. And got tired of painting before finishing them. Okay. Let's see. That is just the first part. Um, let's see, do I have, I guess I have some more battery left and 20 minutes. Let's see what we have here. I have one of these um, for artwork on the wall, art shelves. There are actually one more I was told, still in the package, so let's see what that is. These are two of these, you put them on your arm, I think, for when you go skiing. Oh, this is nice. In Sweden, Christmas, for Advent first, we hang stars, starlights in the windows, and these uh, are a really classic model and uh, copper is not my uh, color I like brass and gold but someone will be very very happy with this one and some fake flowers I actually want to find some white fake roses to paint them red for my Alice in Wonderland tree these are pink, these are not my, these are really, really bad fake flowers, but this, oh, they are stuck. This tin pitcher, I will definitely be able to sell. A lot of people here really love the uh, sort of country look. Shabby chic is still a thing here. Okay, this I won't sell. This I will um, leave at the, the um, recycling place because 
I can't uh, guarantee that it's not cracked or something. So someone could be wearing this, having an accident, and this won't help a bit. So this is going to to go away. Oh, this is a uh, um, thermometer. So is it called that in English? A thermometer is just just the one. Yeah, it tells how warm it is or cold it is. And a handbag. And it's sort of a wreath. Wreath. Flowers it's from IKEA. It's kind of fun. I am going to see what this looks like. Ooh. A harmonica. Oh, Alice comes and see what is going on. She did not like me playing that one. And, ooh, look at this. You know, this is something I don't have. And it's a waffle iron. And it looks, it looks brand new. This is something I will keep for myself. That's perfect. Oops, that's a shelf. Oh, look at this. It's a flat iron. And I don't have one of these either. I will try it out on my hair. I will probably not keep it because I don't have the patience to use one. But good things. And let's see what's in this one. Yeah. Christmas decor is so lights for the tree and more of those lights for the tree they are like look like candles and you just clip them on um, the very very traditional swedish kind of lights oh. i'm reaching the bottom and this Actually, I don't know what this is. It's some something made with straw. And can I take this out without... Oh, what is this? It's some kind of straw decoration. Looks like a dress almost. You hang it for Christmas. I've never seen something like that. lost oh what is this oh what is this oh I have a pony oh there we go Christmas hats what is this I've never seen Christmas hats and now I have three three Christmas hats Here we have a little Let's see if I can focus here. There. The gnome. Oh, these are cute. Um 
throw your little nose. And two. Toadstools. Take your tail some, you can hang them. And then a bowl you can use for doing some sort of a Christmas arrangement inside. It was definitely not just crap they were giving away. They were giving away really good stuff. It's a Which way? This way. Yay, it's snowing! And... Oh, this I like. Easter chicken, and you can lift it, and you can hide things. Yeah. This one I am keeping for sure, even though it's a bit wobbly. It's really, really cute. Hey, chicken! Oh, so cute. This I have three, and it says Tupperware, and I'm guessing this is for ice. I had to Google it, but I think it's three ice things. Whoops! It's really, really full here. And another candle holder. Sort of a mosaic kind of thing. And a flower pot to go with the uh, arrangement bowl. these Ikea lamps, holder and everything, or maybe it's not Ikea, but uh, one of these spotlight lamps. This I can absolutely sell. And the other art shelf, bookshelf, still in its package. These are actually kind of nice. They could be my size, almost, but I never wear heels. They are really nice. And I think selling them for like two euros, two dollars, won't be a big of a problem. These, however, I am keeping. I have actually tried these on. I really wanted a pair of blue boots. I love blue shoes and pink. So this is perfect. And sort of ballerina sort of kind of thing. I actually will try this on myself. And a pair of brown winter boots. And sort of like 
job purse, boots with a bit of a heel. These could be all my size. I have five and a half and these are five. So when they are a little bit bigger, they can work. And if they are a little bit smaller, they don't work. Here another pair of Yod Percy boots. These are pretty nice. Some uh, one really liked Jod Pursley's kind of with the, the elastic. I am going to try a bunch of these shoes because they are really really nice. A pair of trainers. I've just thrown away my trainers, my actual walking trainers, um, because they were old and worn. So. And this looks like my size. Oh, and it's Adidas. It's my favorite brand. Somehow, almost all the trainers and sneakers I buy are Adidas. These, these. Oh, these are another pair of boots. Arenas. I actually have socks on, but this could work. Looks like I will be getting a few pairs of shoes myself. Hey, Alice. Alice is here and, and she's curious what I'm doing. Yeah, I think those are all the shoes. I still have two IKEA bags too. So here we go. These are some grey striped curtains and I think it would be really good if it's a bunch of curtains and stuff that I wouldn't uh, buy myself because I love retro and have uh, retro stuff. I think I will have more buyers with non-retro stuff uh, because retro lovers aren't that common here. I think I know every one of them. So those, I think, will find the buyers. And these have some sort of tying arrangement. So probably one of those roll up um, curtain things. More of these. And even more, which is really, really good actually. And one of these tie your curtains uh, rope thingies. And this is, oh, they are um, my head just froze right there. You put it on the table underneath your plates when you do the table. They are one, two, three, four, five of these. I actually thought uh, yesterday that I would like 
uh, some of these tablecloths. No, not that. Um, but I don't know if this is the right. On the other hand, with my black and white china, maybe that is the right ones. And then. Pillow covers. They're just grey, blackish, like that. Just plain ones. And also, again, these colors, they are popular here. Color is not very popular, but uh, like black and grey and beige. Another one of these. And yeah, that's just uh, for your pillows, sleeping pillows, just and two more ropes. Curtains with like blue uh, camo print. Again, someone will think this is the bee's knees. To they are not my my thing, but yeah, beige. One of those table plate setting things that just escaped my head. They are like off-white beige. So two of those. And here, yeah, this is a pile of bed linen. Hello, uh, cases and duvet covers, sheets. I really, really need new sheets, but I need bigger ones. And I think these are just the normal sheets. More sheets. More of the, no, it's a runner. Shiny Christmas runner goes with the Christmas stuff and Christmas curtain that goes up like this. Yeah, another one of those placemats. Placemats. And this is black and white. Yeah, I think it's curtains. One, two. Oh, and now I'm at 50 cents. And A uh, table runner. And a pair of men's trousers. Not for me. Maybe for someone else. And a pair of tiny jeans. 33, 32. Okay, they. Are not tiny but too tiny for me. And 
those pajama bottoms. Ooh, they are nice and slinky. And bed linen is very, very Swedish colors. Very Swedish pattern and it says, it says what? No, they're just the three stars of Sweden as well. Three stars is the Swedish pattern thing. The, our castle is known as three, three stars, sorry, three crowns. Three crowns are Swedish thing. And I think this may be in the shape of a flag or something. It says, go Sweden. If I could get some tourists here, oops, they would go for this. Check it. Sort of a satiny feel. And two sets with sunflowers. And a gnome and butterfly. Disney set. They are all pretty washed and bleached. But uh, if I put a low price, I hope they will sell. And oh my goodness, we are up to like 45 minutes. Um, I am surrounded with piles and piles of stuff. And uh, now I have the task of pricing everything and uh, finding a place for it. Um, everything won't fit inside of my outhouse thrift store. So they will have to be inside my little tiny house. Uh, so I hope I sell a lot this weekend so I can uh, get rid of a lot of this stuff but I'm really really happy for everything um, for the things I got for free and for the things I bought for really cheap thank you for watching this uh, unboxing and uh, yeah it's I know it's not the kind of things I usually show because it's uh, uh, not chosen and bought by me, for me, but it's for selling. And um, yeah, again, thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you soon. I actually plan to take a little tour uh, this weekend to show you everything in its place. So you will get a little thrift tour. But until then, uh, have a good day. Uh, and I will see you soon. Bye. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods.